Hello everyone. <clears throat> I know it's been a while, but I'm back. <laughs> well, for the time being anyway, but basically this email is all about email again. I know I probably bored the life out of you last time uh, when I discussed it was an elastic email, but a commenter or a customer of mine basically let me know that this no longer has a free plan. Uh, so it's also you know, for everybody starting out to keep costs as low as possible, it's always good to get on a free tier uh, before having to subscribe uh, to further, um, you know, charges and stuff for your website. So I went on a, a replied here basically saying, look, I'll, I'll go out and have a look. Uh, and it looks like resend.com is quite a new provider on the scene. So I haven't used it before, but I've heard great things from other uh, content creators that I would follow in this space. So we'll go from here. This is Resend. Now, all that really matters to us is that it's easy to get set up, signed up, and also that it's free for the first 3,000 emails per month. That does mean 100 emails per day. Uh, I'll show you how to maximize the, the, so you get the most out of your emails, that you're not just sending uh, willy-nilly emails instead of like, you know, two or three emails per order, that you're only sending one per order. So it's going to last three times longer. Uh, so once you're sending... 100 emails a day then it's probably about time that you're going to up this to maybe you only need i don't know, I suppose up to fifty thousand emails per month is is twenty dollars so i'm not affiliated with this uh website at all but it just seems like it's going to be easy enough to get started so i haven't gone through this as in before this video so i'm going to go uh along with you so if it does take a wee bit longer or i'll try and cut up as cut up cut out <laughs> as much as possible so you don't have to like uh listen to me anyway let's uh first of all create an account so if i go back here i'm gonna register get started create an account i'll sign up directly with google that's probably the easiest way to do it all right let's get a So I have a website called MOTNI. Well, it's an old team or an old uh, website I use, but it's no longer the no longer in use. So I'm going to use this uh, just as a a domain that I can use to show you how to get something set up. So use the following generated to authenticate requests. No problem. Realistically, for now. So that's going to give me an API key. We're going to be using PHP, but realistically, we're not even going to use this. We're going to use a plugin um, and go from there. So I'm going to add a domain name. So we're going to click on Ireland. Upgrade the change of region, Earth. We'll just use this for now. All right. This Put your domain name in here. So whatever your website domain name is. So mine's MOT dash ni.co.uk going to click on add don't entirely know why i have to choose america but at the same time we're only sending an email here so it's not going to matter that much uh, it looks like we now have to verify dns records so i've got my dns open you might have also used namecheap to create your um uh, well to purchase your domain name so what i'm going to do here is go to domain uh, make sure that uh, namecheap basic dns is enabled and then at the far far right we're going to go advanced dns this will give us a couple of options so what we're going to do is add new record because it has asked us to create let's go from the start type in mx record the host name is going to be send and the value is going to be this. I'm going to just copy that. I think within Namecheap that you have to go down to mail settings and then click on custom MX. And in here, I think it was send. And then I type in that. Or whatever, paste in that. I think the priority was also 10. Yeah, that's right. So we'll go back there and save that. So we've got two text records. So we're going to use send and send domain key. 
we'll go back up here you'll have to click on add new record and then in the drop down go to text type in send there copy this oh. all right click on save changes there now another text record we'll do the same thing again just copy this followed by this so it all lines up there we're going to go save changes next we're going to add a dmark so dmark is kind of a new thing that's been forced upon us by gmail and all those other big companies so we're going to go text record again dmark dmark none just you don't really need to know much about that to be honest with you i don't even know that much about it far on down that should be pretty much it you can add click tracking and it'll tell you basically if you log back in here how many customers have clicked your emails and that kind of thing hmm i think that's pretty much it so i'm going to go ahead and click on verify dns now that i've got all of that all of those details added to my dns records verify i'd be surprised if, you know so sometimes these things can take uh, oh or <laughs> can take sometimes it can take 10 minutes but you're basically at the mercy of the internet as, as long as you add all this information you're good to go um but it seems to have happened very quickly for myself so that is the domain name set up ready to go they did have a wordpress let me just get this up here so this is within their documentation they had a wordpress kind of setup guide they talk about a wp mail smtp plugin i do have a better plugin than this i'm not entirely sure i like this one as much so i'm going to go to the website this is, of course, the do-it-yourself raffle website template. Still going strong. Uh, new updates just done today, actually, for it. So um, it's still live and kicking, which is good to hear because it's my business. <laughs> so I'm going to go into the back end of your website. Hopefully you've already got to this point. I think you're too far ahead in any of the tutorial videos I've done if you're not familiar with this section. So what I'm going to do, go to plugins, you can freely uninstall any kind of mail plugins that you're using to send emails currently uh, and go ahead and install a webs or a plugin called Fluent. F-L-U-E-N-T. I'll increase the size of this so you can potentially see that a bit better. All right, it is the middle one, this uh, pinky colored one. And it will give us options to add loads of different types of Oh, loads of different types of um, email providers but ultimately we just need one you can click this blue button at the top but if that hasn't appeared for you you can go to settings and then fluent smtp down the left hand side uh, skip this part and we're going to click on other smtp so what we're going to do in here is type in the email we want our messages to be sent from okay let's just put comps in there so you understand just a, basically a name we're going to force a sender name force all that kind of stuff so in here this is where this um guide now i'll link this in the description below so maybe you want to copy and paste it but ultimately we're all going to use these details here so smtp send so yeah the host The port really got to move that over here the port is 465 we're going to use ssl i'm entirely sure if we're using auto tls auto tls is on authentication on uh username is resend and then in my back in my domain name where i uh, verified my domain i'm going to go back to where will i get my domain key api 
API keys. All right. So if I click on edit API key. No, we're going to create a new one because it didn't copy it. New API key. Sending access. Uh, all domains add. All right. You can only see this key once. Okay. That's why I couldn't get it back up. So I'm going to copy this to clipboard. Head back to my website and then in this SMTP password, put that in there. Click on save. But what I'm also going to do is double check that I've just done that. So yes, your API key is the password. Make sure you replace your API key with an existing one. Okay. All right. Now let's give this a whirl, as they say. So we go to email test, go to email from, and then we'll type in an email address that we have access to and see if that works. Ooh, it says sent. All right, if I go to my, there we go. Okay, this is the email. So we, they've come through from MOTNI comps. Everything seems to be in place straight into my inbox. No spam, no nothing. Pfft, blown away. That's that, I don't even know how, how long I've been going. 11 minutes and I've probably cut this down. Um, so that is an amazing service. Uh, also, just so you know, with Fluent SMTP, it also logs all the emails that have went out uh, and stores them for, I think, if I head over here, for 14 days. You can lower this if you only want them to save for seven days, but default, two weeks. Uh, and the good news about that is if a customer ever needs information, being like, oh, I never received an email or it was never sent, accusing accusatory, uh, you can basically go in here, search for any subject line or f who it was to, so say it was like Glenda at whoever, gmail.com. You can type that in here, type search and up comes any emails you would have sent to that address. You can also click on here where it says the I and show exactly what the what was in the email when it was sent. The response was okay. You know, we can never say for sure it was delivered, but you know, we did our part by sending it. So at the start of this video, I also mentioned that we're going to kind of show you how to manage the amount of emails that you send out because a lot of them if you're on a budget you don't need to be sending so go to woocommerce and go to settings and then under emails you'll see a tick beside a lot of emails so the one sending to you maybe you don't need a new order email to let you know that there's been an order uh, so you can click onto that and disable it now if you head back you'll see a few to the customer Mostly that'll be all you need to disable. I would say that's the main offender. You don't overly need that. Now, what you might have is when you use uh, a plugin called Terra Wallet, it'll come up as like a low transaction amount or, you know, it lets them know if they've used their, their wallet. What you can do is click under those emails and it'll be very obvious what they are. Um, and from there, you can disable those emails. And that means you'll not be sending three emails for an order. You'll be sending one. So that is pretty much the long and short of it. I would still recommend changing these areas. I wouldn't mind by these areas. Just say MOTNI comps. And then they're not really doing anything. But, you know, it's better than nothing. In this header image, I'm sure you've already changed this by now, but I've got a logo here. You can kind of see that on that background. I'm going to right click, copy image address, paste that in there, save. And you'll see what the email looks like. That's probably a wee bit too big, but you can upload a smaller image uh, and that'll place in there nicely. But that is pretty much the long and short of it. Uh, hopefully this will get a lot of people up and running for the free tier of resend.com seems to be the uh, one of the best ones and easiest ones as, as you can see that i've set up uh, hopefully that'll help on all the best